QuickShape does exactly what it says on the box. It lets us create and edit perfect shapes quickly. Let's start with the most basic, a quick line. QuickShape is triggered using draw and hold by default. So if we draw a line and then hold briefly in place, it will then snap into a perfect line. And as long as we keep our pencil held down, we can move our quick line around from its start point. We can hold with a finger, and this allows us to snap rotate our quick shape in increments of 15 degrees. Once we're happy with our shape, we can lift away to commit. Now, every time a quick shape is created, we have the edit shape button appear at the top. Let's go ahead and edit this shape. And now we see these blue transform nodes that we can drag around to refine our shape further. We can also drag from anywhere there isn't a node to reposition the shape. The next quick shape we'll take a look at is polyline, which is multiple lines joined together. So let's draw a line, but this time we'll add some changes in our stroke direction. Then as before, hold briefly in place to trigger quick shape. We can have lots more edges when using polyline than this, it's as complicated as we want to make it, but we're only using three edges here. That's pretty good. Okay, we'll try circle next. When drawing circular shapes, quick shape will produce ellipses, but if we need a perfect circle, we can hold with a finger before lifting away the pencil, and this will create idealized versions of any primitive shapes that we draw. Ellipses will become perfect circles, and uneven squares and triangles become equilateral. Next, another useful shape we can make is an arc. We'll make one just here, and as we do, we're going to apply the stroke with some variations in pressure. As our arc becomes a quick shape and we move it around, we can see the characteristics in the stamping of the stroke are preserved. Now let's have a go at a rough square. Okay, that is pretty rough, so let's hit edit. Every time we edit a quick shape, we get a listing here along the top of Procreate's best guesses for our shape. So if we're at least trying to draw squares, then square would very likely appear here. Our blue transform nodes that we have here will behave differently depending on whether they sit on a curved edge, a flat edge, or at the ends of a straight line. Now there are a few different input methods that we can assign to trigger quick shape, and we can find these in actions, then preferences, and just here, gesture controls. Let's find quick shape on the left, and now we get a list of the different inputs that we can assign. Draw and hold has a brief delay before it triggers, and we can adjust that delay with the slider here. So let's make this as fast as possible, see how that feels, and we'll just fly through and tidy up a few things. A quick line here, nice quick triangle. That's pretty quick, it's almost faster than I can draw the shape. Lastly, it's worth a mention, quick shape works the same across all three of the primary tools, the paint, smudge, and eraser tools. 